Kenya Olympian Association last night urged all Olympic legends who are over 500 in Kenya to join the association in order to get help together. Having flown the Kenyan flag high in their tenure, they need to leave descent according to the association and registering in the association to bond them together in a common goal. In the association, they aim to transfer skills to the upcoming athletes and also share in their experiences as veterans. They said forming the association might reduce doping issues that have become rampant in the world. What the association intends to do is to organize. We need first of course to identify those who are in real need. That is after all the register, you know, we've registered the, the, the um, Olympians and help them. May, or we'll organize uh, things like seminars, workshops, trainings. We see where one needs what. Yeah? Put them into training so that they can actually now depend on themselves. Learn a skill, for example, so that they can use that skill to have an income. If they already have an um, an engagement or a job or a, something they are doing, try and improve on that so that we can lift the, they, they can lift up their, their lives. We are representing all the Olympians in this country. It is them who have brought Kenya on the world map. It's them, because of them, the World Olympian Association has been formed to connect with other national Olympian associations throughout the world. And uh, we were actually uh, advised about it some years ago. Unfortunately, maybe with the leadership or with, with the priorities of uh, the Olympians, we did not really achieve anything. But uh, since we have our president, Moses Tanui, who decided to say, you know, we are representing Olympians, it's been two decades, we have really not done anything about it. So we started with con contacting the World Olympian Association, whose representative is here, as you can see. Uh, it's taken us a long journey, but we have achieved it. We were having challenges in getting our registration because we had no records, we had no issue. Even right now, we do not have the records of all our Olympians. We've got 586 Olympians in this country. And uh, we are appealing to you to help us connect with them. We have a lot of plans as KOA. We want to, first of all, find out what are they doing? What difficulties are they in? What challenges are they having? My appeal is to you guys, the press. You are the people who can be able to support this organization. You are the people who should create that awareness. And it, you are the major, actually you are the foremost partners in this organization because with your partnership, we can go far. And without your support, as members of the media, as members of the fourth estate, it is very little that you know any organization can do in this country. So it is up to you. We respect you. That's why we have invited you here. And we hope that, you know, with your support and with your partnership, this organization can grow so that we can be able to support all those great heroes that have put Kenya on the map. I mean, go anywhere in the world. They do not ask you who is uh, your minister for, for finance, no. They ask you, oh, you are Kenyan. Ah, so you can run. Everybody, we have a lot of respect when we go out there because of our athletes. Really, we are open and we want everyone to walk on this line. And that is why we have those professional uh, volunteers that really they have done a wonderful job. And I don't know what we can say, but um, with the board also, that we have about 13 board members, we are working together so that we see uh, that um, KOA is growing in the right direction. And I can tell you this with authorities, that now KOA will work with all the Olympians, all the Olympians, so long as you have participated in Olympics. We want the, the government, we want the people to recognize that they have the world's best among themselves. These Olympians that we are, we are representing here, 
they need to be acknowledged. The World Olympians Association is here to serve you. It's, it's you are the fuel. We can have a, a, a good engine, but you are the fuel, you are the sparks. Without you, there's nothing to do. Um, to be a bit more precise on the projects that's going to happen, they are the experts of their own society. And they know, like Lydia said, there are certain problems. Um, and in the philosophy of the World Olympians Association, we work on things that we can do to help Olympians and service that we can provide to communities. It's for the whole team here to decide which topics are priority.